Hey, it's Andrew Bobman Train.com. Just got done doing a uh, one mile drag and well, it was a, a pull, and I wore a uh, a 45 pound pack, so I pulled a 50 pound sled, rogue sled, and a uh, I wore a 45 pound weighted vest, well weight pack, and uh, I originally wanted to go a thousand yards, 10 reps from 10 times up and down you know I walked it off it's 300 feet for every hundred yards so then I said you know what I'm going to do I'm gonna do a mile now so, so 700 uh, 1760 is a mile so I did 1800 okay because that's, that's what I needed to get back and I do it on a football field well it's not even a football field it's just grass and people don't realize that pulling a, a metal sled on grass is a lot more difficult than people pulling it on asphalt grass concrete it just is i mean if i was to carry that sled with me and take it out and put it on the concrete i'd have to put fucking 400 pounds on it that you know just three or three four hundred pounds on it just to get a fucking get a good workout i think i mean i move every time i hit the grass even time i go from the grass to the to the rocks out here it's an automatic fucking it's like it just fucking slides right through and it makes it more difficult and i like to do the most the more difficult things because what i just did now is going to be more to real life than just about anything you'll ever see in the gym and uh another thing i don't wear headphones i got this cool hat so i don't get sunburned was all i had because i didn't plan on doing this i had 20 pounds of ground meat in my car with some eggs and i got to get that home so i was kind of crunched for time but i figured i gotta do it man because if i didn't do it I'd be pissed off and the way I did it is I set cones up and I drug the sled to the cone which made it 100 yards not my feet so I had to pull it the sled to the cone or it didn't count so that's the way I do things you gotta you gotta do it right if you if you quit you cheat you gotta have a penalty you got a penalty or something and in that time the only time I stopped in that mile was just turning it so two three seconds uh, i wanted to stop at about the tenth time uh people talk about meditation and things like that well if you don't think doing this type of work with no earphones okay or anything like that it's just you your breathing your mind if you think that's easy if that ain't meditating well you people better figure it out and, and actually know what it is it's you know meditating is basically being with you having no thoughts and when you walk like that the only thing you're really thinking about is getting it done the moment weakness comes into your mind the moment it overtakes the mind you're going to quit so it's important to fucking you know use strong words and encourage yourself and that's a big fucking thing and anybody who's ever trained for a while knows you gotta have good self-talk i mean you can call yourself a pussy but yeah it's demeaning you know you're not gonna quit you know you can go do whatever you want. Fucking say words like strength and, you know, fucking never give up or fucking keep going or whatever it is. But I just wanted to tell you is because a lot of people like to give up. And uh, one thing I wanted to tell you a lot of people is, you know, all the struggling I did throughout my life, as a lot of people do, and give up, whatever. I always had this, I always kept this quote, and it was from a book. And I've kept this quote around and said it many, many times, probably since my 20s. And it was, tough times don't last, tough people do. And I'm telling you, I got that on my phone. Every time I look at my phone, that's the first thing I see. And it's the truth. Tough times don't last, tough people do. So it's a matter of, uh, you know, if you're willing to make it through the tough times or just give the fuck up and play fucking dead, you know? It's up to you, man. You play the victim, you pick yourself up, get fucking moving, keep fucking forging ahead, man. Later.